There was, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a priest named Zacharias, and he had a wife named Elizabeth. They were an elderly couple, and they never had any children. They wanted a child, but knew they couldn't have one. But soon, that would change. Zacharias should be home soon. He's usually home before this time. You're here just in time, sugar. It's time for dinner. I can't talk. You can't talk! This is the story of how I can't talk. According to the custom of the priesthood, my lot was to burn incense when I went into the temple of the Lord. Zacharias, your writing is really bad. And all the people were praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel appeared to me, and he was standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Here. And when I saw him, I was troubled, and fear fell upon me. Uh, Zacharias, do you spell fear, F-E-A-R, not F-E-E-R. But the angel said to me, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. <gasps> We're having a son! And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. He will be great in God's sight, and he shall not drink wine, and he shall win many of Israel to the Lord. Wow! He will also go before him, in the spirit and power of Elijah, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Then I said, Angel, how shall I know this? For my wife and I are elderly. And the angel said, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you, and bring you good tidings. But listen, you will not be able to talk until the day these things take place, because you didn't believe my words, which are the truth. Once I finished working, I came here to you. Oh, Cupcake, you saw an angel. What was he like? He was amazing and unexplainable. And don't call me Cupcake again. What is that anyway? Oh, well, Zacharias, a cupcake is just a name I made up. It's supposed to be something sweet, and something you can call people, you know? Like honey, sugar pie. Don't call me sugar pie. What, is that another replacement for the word honey? Yes, it is. And okay, okay, I won't call you cupcake or sugar pie again, brownie. Now let's go eat dinner. Oh, <laughs> Lord is with you, and you are one of the best women who ever lived. Why are you here? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And listen, you will get pregnant and have a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Israel forever. How can this happen since I am not with the man? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, so that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Right now, Elizabeth, your relative, is also pregnant with a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month of her pregnancy. For with God, nothing will be impossible. I believe what you have said will happen. Now Mary arose and went into the hill country quickly to a city of Judah.